AI is taking over, and video games is not an exception, so today I decided to use an AI to make a video game. Not because I'm lazy, but because I know next to nothing about Roblox Studio, so hopefully, as a side quest, I can also learn my way around Studio better throughout this challenge. That's right, this is a challenge, and I'm giving myself until July 24th to make this video game. Don't ask. Anyway, for the main portion of this video, I'll be using Microsoft Copilot because I didn't know that ChatGPT 3.5 was free. I guess we can see which one does better out of those two in a, in a separate video. Anyways, I first started coding. I mean, AI first started coding the basics of the game, claiming blocks. I should probably mention that I came up with the concept for the game, not AI. I just am using AI for the code, and I have to fix errors and all that fun coding, coding stuff, stuff and game, game development. development. I also sometimes stole, I mean, borrowed other people's code. Anyways, next I decided some cursed NPC models, but then I made two actual NPCs with basic models from Roblox. They ran towards each other and eventually killed each other. Alright, this is revolutionary. Press run. One of them's gonna die. It's gonna be... Of course. Of course this happens the one time I record. Oh, there it goes. And then I added claimable spawn platforms. At this point, there was a bug where the NPCs killed everything they touched and didn't check if the NPC was touching its own team member, so I set to work on fixing that. I came across a few more bugs, such as the NPCs being idled after their target was dead. Everyone says... <laughs> and it's just an absolute slaughter. Sort of. Yes. The two of them just went free. I added a constantly spawning NPC mechanic that I would later delete. I next created a way for the NPCs to do the obby. They can walk straight through the obstacles. They can also respawn now and scan for dead targets. And the main damage issue was fixed. I then added a claiming mechanic for the player and NPCs to add some color and interest to the game. Next I gave them actual health bars, but the damage seemed to multiply at this point due to how many NPCs were actually on the game. So when the red NPC touched the blue NPC, the blue NPC just died. We will fix that later. Next I added a money mechanic, giving the player a certain amount of money every 20 seconds depending on how much the player's team had claimed. I should also mention that the NPCs now swing their swords when they are near their enemy and the swords damage their enemies. AI did not make the animation, but gave me the script to play it and deal the damage. And just like that, the core game mechanics are done. Now I just, I mean AI just needs to improve these mechanics and add things, such as actual pathfinding and damage issues. Yes, there are more. Alright, we've made it a decent portion into the video, and now it's time for me to tell you to press like on this video and subscribe if you are enjoying. Why should you subscribe? Well, I am trying to beat my friend to 1,000 subscribers, and while he currently doesn't look much like a threat, he's doing a collaboration with tons of other big YouTubers and is bound to get a shoutout from them soon, and essentially that's going to doom me in this race. The stakes are high for this race. So subscribe if you want to hear him sing a song. Next, I attempted to add jumping mechanics for the NPCs so they can actually do the obby, which stands for obstacle course. But the Roblox NPC jumping is just plain out cursed. Finally, I added the first step of pathfinding for the NPCs, which is explained pretty well in this recording, where the blue pathfinding is the before pathfinding, and the red is after I updated it. The next AI. So blue is going to be the old, red is going to be the new. And I'll explain why this yellow NPC is here. So this yellow NPC is named yellow NPC. And you can see them chasing him, right? But if I were to go like that and drop them off, they like kind of stare at him and then go attack the blue NPCs. So now they're going to do that and they don't need any other assistance. If it respawns, it's just one pathfinding script instead of or random PC is only enough. So it's gonna cause less lag. And as you can see they just do that. And they can pathfind around corners. Here's what it looks like after both are updated. And yes, they can go around corners now. They're all swinging. Okay. Uh one of the, the, the What is going Next, I began planning a map for the initial round of the game using Blender to create simple models, while a friend of mine created some cursed ones. Hold on. Wait, what it, just it's just, it just launched. It, it's spinning out of control. It's gone. 
I'm just gonna try it. Okay, I'm, I'm see, I see it. It's just chilling there. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's falling. To... It's falling. Yeah, it, it what falls. the heck? <laughs> Yeah, it just falls. It's, it's falling, it's falling. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm keep it up with it. It is it's spinning so, so fast. fast. I don't even it's, know. It just it's... despawns. It, that's how cool it is. It just despawns. That is clearly impressive how fast that spins there. So I feel like we should just like, you know, scale this up like... Oh! See, I'm gonna record it. <laughs> Let's see what happened. <laughs> One's falling. This one's taking a while. Oh, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> it's, the dripstone's just gone. It's just gone. But the dripstone hits the spike ball. It's, it's, it's still flying. I won't be showing much of the map creation in this video, mostly because it's boring. All I mainly did was design obstacles and add the scripts for them using the AI. I added a point system, which is cool, and a round system, which determines when the force field for the player opens for the game. That'll make sense if you were to play it for yourself. I then added an XP bar, a second money displayer, and a buying troops window, all of which are pretty self-explanatory. I then upgraded the buy troops bar to only show the shop for the team, that the player is on so they can spawn their own troops that are on their team. In case you are wondering how the NPCs can walk through the obstacles, I made a second path with a second collision group for the NPCs throughout the entire course. Which reminds me, I needed to upgrade it, the pathfinding again as they couldn't see yeah, now they the enemy when they were high up and or far away. If that disappears, cannot find... Are these guys pathfinding? Are they too far away? During this time, a friend of mine made terrain for the lobby, which is nice. Fixing the pathfinding AI was such a pain, and even while I'm reading and writing this script, it is still not perfected. Where's vision range? Local distance... I don't even want vision range. I don't know why it's doing that. I spent the next few days creating the map, and then I recorded a video showcasing the work so far. I had 9 days left, but I forgot I had a camp incoming, so it was actually 3 days instead of 9, and I had to finish this game ASAP. So here's the final recording before publication. Okay, I've rushed to add... Okay, we're gonna need to fix that, but... We have this. We're gonna see if it works. Pathfinding. So hopefully, yeah, okay. With the updated Pathfinding. Yeah, it definitely needs work. We just barely managed to beat the challenge, and if you want to play this game for yourself, it is down to the description, along with a link to the post where you can put your ideas, questions, and bugs that you find in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember to subscribe so I can beat my friend to a thousand subscribers. See y'all next week and expect Roblox and Minecraft content.